As you prepare for retirement, it's important to spend some time considering beneficiary arrangements. Whether it's through an annuity, life insurance, wills, or trusts, anytime you want to leave money to others, it's important to have a good understanding of how you will designate the beneficiary. For example, let's say you're a husband and a father, and you own a life insurance policy. Typically, your primary beneficiary will be your wife. What does that mean? It means that if you die and your wife is still alive, your wife will receive all the proceeds of that account. The wife in this scenario is considered a primary beneficiary. But what if your wife dies before you, or you and your wife die at the same time? In this scenario, you may want what are called secondary or contingent beneficiaries. Let's say you and your wife have three children, child one, two, and three. These children can be named as a secondary line of beneficiaries or contingent beneficiaries to make it clear who your assets should go to in the event that your primary beneficiary dies before you or at the same time. You may choose to divide the proceeds of your life insurance policy evenly between the three children, a third, a third, and a third. But here's something else to consider. What if your children have children of their own? your grandchildren. Let's say child number one has three children, child number two has no children at all, and child number three has two children, meaning you have a total of five grandchildren. Now you may want to start asking some additional questions about designating beneficiaries. Let's assume your wife dies before you. Therefore, when you die, the proceeds are designated to go to your three children who you have named as contingent beneficiaries. Well, what if one of your children dies before you? Let's say your third child, the one with two children, dies before you. Then what happens? Well, if you haven't set up your beneficiaries appropriately, you could end up disinheriting those two grandchildren. All of the proceeds could end up going to child one and child two, cutting out your third child's surviving children. Now that's generally not what people want. Instead, they may say, we want this child's share to go to his, her, two children. This is generally referred to as per stirpes distribution, meaning that each branch of the family is to receive an equal share. If that is your objective, you would want to incorporate that term into your beneficiary designations. Then, should both your wife and one of your contingent beneficiaries die before you, the beneficiary designation would direct that contingent beneficiary's share of the proceeds to go to his, her beneficiaries.